my camera's like, what are you doing? It's so dark. channel if you're new stopping by don't forget to click that subscribe button and to smash that like button so tonight I'm going to be carving a pumpkin which I know is like the cliche thing to do for Halloween but it's a special night for me because this is my first Halloween in my own place so I am super excited to be doing this I thought I'd be a little festive I have this cute little candy corn necklace that I'm gonna wear tonight uh, while I do this and it has some cute little settings. Uh, I like this one the best because the next one is like super quick flashes and I feel like looking down at that is going to be super annoying so I did not want to deal with that looking at that. Uh, and then the next one is just they're on. And I'm just like that's a little too basic for me and you know how I like to have that extra flair. So I thought this was a nice in between. And I wanted to kind of keep the lights down for a little bit uh, for this video, just so, you know, you can kind of see this a little bit. Uh, but also, uh, you know, with it being the whole ambience of the night. Also, look how cute this is. It looks so good in the dark. I love these. They're like super festive. They were super cheap. I wasn't even planning on getting anything like this, but I saw it at the grocery store when I was going to get my stuff. Uh, and I think I look better in the dark like this anyways because I don't have my hair done. So I guess I'm fitting the theme of looking scary tonight because it is a mess. I thought I'd show you guys this in the dark so you can actually see what it looks like more so. Uh, but let's get to this pumpkin carving. If you hear anything in the background, that would be Resident Evil playing. <laughs> Have that on in the background. Uh, I feel like it's a rite of passage for gays to like hocus pocus and like watch that when they do stuff like this. But I don't know, maybe I'm one of the only gay guys that honestly just doesn't like that movie. Uh, don't hate me <laughs> for saying that if you do like that movie. I just, I don't know, it's just kind of like, like whatever to me. Um, not super exciting. I like more horror stuff. I don't like the cutesy Halloween. Uh, so I have some Resident Evil playing uh, in the background. Mia's watching it on the couch. Uh, we're about to go put a bow on her. I thought that it could be a little bit festive. So let's go get Mia all set up for the night. Okay, so she's over here watching some Resident Evil <laughs> on the couch. Um, <laughs> she's not gonna like this. I can already tell. So it's like so dark, but let's see real quick if I can get some lights on. There we go. Hey baby. She already, I don't know, she's not gonna like this. I don't even know if I can get it on her because I forgot with her having her hair cut that it's probably way too short for her. I could put it on her beard, but that would not last long. Uh, yeah, so give me a sec to do this. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, obviously her hair is too short to wear the bow, but I did end up finding an alternative way for her to join the fun uh, on this night. And let me show you guys what I ended up doing. So, <laughs> there she is. Say hello, Mimi's. Say hi. She's like, I'm so mad at you right now. <laughs> Okay, well, she'll get over it. Uh, she really doesn't hate that as much as she seems to be right now. I think she's just a little confused because it's the first time that I've put it on her this year. Uh, so she loves wearing clothes. She actually has a lot of like jackets and sweaters and stuff like that, more so for the uh, winter season, fall, winter season. Since it's so hot here, I have a couple of t-shirts, but I tend to not put them on her because uh, it just makes her way too hot. Uh, but it actually has been a chilly, rainy kind of day, so I thought it was actually kind of fitting that I put it on her, and I thought I'd just like attach the bow to the back of her jacket, uh, so that way she can participate. And then of course, you can't do this without having an adult beverage served. Check out this like cute little tumbler I got, by the way. Beautiful. I am like starting to collect these, it's so bad. I got this one whenever I went, but I also got a second one 
because it matches my stuff over here in the corner of my kitchen, uh, which I, you guys I think can see. If not, like they've been in plenty of my videos, but isn't this cute? It's like the rose gold kind of copper look to it. But yeah, so I'm keeping that over there with my other rose gold stuff. But I just thought this was too cute and festive to pass up. So I definitely spent money that I shouldn't have. Ugh. Okay, let's get into this. I'm ready to get inside this pumpkin, put my hand inside it, and just. Never mind, <laughs> I can't say it. That just sounded so wrong. Um, but one thing I'm gonna try that's different this year that I've never done. So, like I said, this is my first Halloween. Super stoked uh, to have my own place. Have my own little bowl of candy here. Uh, not sure if we'll have trick or treaters, but we'll see. I read online something about cutting the bottom out, which that looks so wrong in so many ways. No comment. Uh, but, um, but, da -da okay. But anyways, I read about reading, uh, I cannot speak tonight. It's just gonna be one of those nights, you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna cut the bottom out and clean out the pumpkin from the bottom uh, instead of the top. So traditionally, I feel like people always cut the top out, pull off the top and dig in. But when you think about it, when you are putting the candle or whatever, it would actually be easier if all you had to do is like basically lift up your pumpkin and put the candle on and set it back on. I've read where this is easier to do, uh, even to clean it, which is great. Uh, and that's how I came across this because I was so excited about getting a drill to be able to carve in my design that I'm gonna be doing, which you guys will not see until the end or maybe sometime in the middle. That way you guys don't skip to the end, traitors. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. Sort of. It didn't come with a scooper. It only came with the drill, and I was like, it should still come with a scooper. Like, this doesn't help clean out the pumpkin. So I thought that was stupid. Um, but I didn't think about it until right before I decided to make the video. So I was like, I'm just gonna use my hands, which, you know, might take a little bit longer, but you guys don't have to sit around for that. I'll just speed right through it for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to get started on cleaning this pumpkin out. Have the trash can right here. I do typically love to make pumpkin seeds, like I like to bake them, but I'm just not about that <laughs> right now tonight. I just watched this Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, I guess it was the final episode, it was episode six in their series for the makeup launch, and I ate an entire batch of homemade chicken wings. Uh, and I kind of feel a little guilty about that. So I'm gonna pretty much just stick to my drink tonight and not worry about baking the pumpkin seeds and be super domestic, uh, especially since I'm single anyways. I don't have anyone to share it with. So I'm just gonna get started with this. So on like the topic of trick or treating, what was, do you guys remember what you first were as a kid? Like what did you dress up as? For me, my first one that I remember, or that, at least from photos, uh, I was a cow. <laughs> Which was such a foreshadowing to what I actually became as a kid, uh, because I was a pretty big kid. What was your first costume, at least that you can remember? Uh, or what, what are you dressing up as this year? I have my costume. I am going to wait and show you guys in another video uh, what my costume is. As I mentioned in the movie video that I did uh, last week, go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, I have never been the biggest fan of Halloween. And there's something about it, like I think as a kid there was a time when I liked it, but I've never, I can tell you I've never enjoyed dressing up. I don't ever remember enjoying dressing up for Halloween. Now, I did dress up in my mom's clothes when I was a kid, and I don't know how that, if that wasn't a telltale sign for what was to come, I don't know what could have been. But <laughs> as far as Halloween goes, I just, I never really got into it. I was, I think, also too shy. I did not like going up to random strangers asking for candy, but I was happy and excited to get the candy. Uh, but what's funny is that 
it wasn't even to eat the candy, it was to organize the candy. I, I had so much fun. I think the, the most exciting part trick-or-treating as a kid for me was like to take all the candy out and like see my haul and see what I got. Um, that's what was most exciting and my favorite thing to, to get from people were the little baggies uh, with like all the candy or whatever inside of them. You never knew what you were getting and that was so exciting to get those and open them because you also got multiple pieces of candy. It was never just like one piece of candy or something uh, like that. But I really, really loved getting those little goodie bags because uh, I always thought those were more special than just handing out candy like I have here. This pumpkin, by the way, is actually not that bad. Like, it's, it did not have many seeds in it at all. So, it's a good thing I didn't plan on baking any because it would not be very much. Let's see if this kind of speeds up the process any. I wonder what this looks like from your angle because it probably doesn't look right. <laughs> I need to get my head out of the gutter. But what's some of your favorite candy to eat? Like, like I said, I'm not a big candy person, but if I'm going to like eat candy, I like Reese's and I think, like, I like Twix, but come to think of it, I actually haven't had Twix in so long. So, I still need to watch Countdown. That one, though, I want to see in a theater. Um, and that's the only way you can see it right now. So that's how you gotta watch it. Okay, so I have my stencil taped on very poorly, but <laughs> the best I could do because, you know, it's a rounded pumpkin. So I think I found a place that will work, at least, for the design that I have. Like I said, I feel like this is way too rounded on that part. I'm gonna get started on poking some holes in this bad boy. This is the first time, too, that I've ever done a design like this. So... I've never done this design before, and actually I didn't even carve a pumpkin last year. Uh, like, what are some of your favorite things to carve on pumpkins? I feel like some people get set in their ways to where they kind of like perfect something over time. So they like, they carve the same thing, but it looks better each year or something like that, or they have a theme. Do you guys do themes in your families or something like that? Um, like, comment below, let me know what some of your traditions are with carving pumpkins or something like that. I'm already tired of doing this. Last pumpkin I did was a couple of years ago with one of my exes. Um, and it turned out okay. I'm trying to remember. I think it was like something to do with Jack Skeleton. Okay. Woo! I only have half of it done, you guys, and my hand is killing me. I still can't get over this. It's just too perfect. It's too cute. Always looking to, to meet some new people. Uh, so if you do end up following me on the off chance, just send me a DM, say hey. Be like, I saw your crazy Halloween video where you looked lonely and sad carving a pumpkin by yourself, talking to yourself. Um, and so I thought I'd reach out to make sure you're still alive and okay. I would appreciate it. Okay, so I have all of my dots poked. Oh my gosh. This looks so complicated. This is scary. <laughs> ah, stop! Okay, I'm gonna get started. Yeah, this is safe. Whew. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, where do I even start? I don't know where to even start. This is so scary. This is so satisfying when it punctures though. Listen. I love that sound. Yes. 
Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. There's another like sneak peek for you if you can figure out what the shape is of that. Let's continue. Take a, a gander. I don't even know if it's focusing on it or not. But still have a ways to go. So let's keep going. I'm not gonna lie, one thing that's cool about this necklace, and since I cut the butt out of the pumpkin, <laughs> when this flashes on, like I can see in the pumpkin. And it looks pretty cool, actually, because it's kind of like I get to see it as I'm making it come to life. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> yes, bitch, yes, work. <gasps> oh my gosh, it came out. This looks like marijuana. <laughs> this looks like, does that not remind you of like the pot sign? It looks like a leaf. Pretty, isn't that cool? That was unintentional art. But that's the next piece, so I'm like showing you as I pull them out. Uh, I, I bet though you're still probably not able to guess what um, I have. Go leave a comment right now, put the time marker, take a guess, that way people are like, why would you guess that whenever he showed us what it was at the end, but say what part of the video you're at. Uh, we are currently four pieces carved out. So if you want to take a guess based on the shapes that I have shown you, leave a comment below. Ooh, it seems to be coming out kind of easy, easily. Nice and easy, easy does it. There's the next piece. I almost dropped it. I ended up still dropping it. Uh oh. It's kind of sticking in one place a little bit. I think it came out. It came out okay. It's not cutting through all the way deep enough. But there's the next piece out. As you can tell, like I have some pretty nice, like detailed curves coming out of this thing. I don't think it's gonna show through quite as well though on the pumpkin itself, unfortunately. But you know, I tried. I tried to be an artist. I tried to be a Bob Ross, but I can't be a Bob Ross. I'm not a Bob Ross. So I have six pieces out now. So go ahead, take another guess. You can change your mind if you want or stick to it. Pause the video, comment below. Let me know what you think I'm carving in from that little hint I just gave you a second ago. And I only have two main pieces left to cut out. So we're almost to the finish line. Okay. Woo! That one came out kind of nice and easy. Yeah, seven piece. Seventh piece is out. Okay, the last big piece is coming out. Last big piece coming out. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I am done. 
Okay, you guys, it's reveal time. <laughs> Woo. This has taken a lot longer than I was anticipating, but I hope you've enjoyed the suspense up until this point. I know it was a lot of time lapse and whatever, uh, but I just really enjoyed spending this time with you in my first pumpkin carving at my own place. Uh, so thank you guys for stopping by for this. And now, let's reveal it. I'm gonna shut all the lights off, and I'm even gonna turn this off, that way we get the full effect and see what it looks like, okay? Alexa, turn off the TV. Thank you. I need every bit of light dark, because this is gonna be amazing. Okay, here we go. Let's, here we go. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Picture of this. I have to get a picture of this now. Also, look at this. She's freaking out a little bit because she's not typically supposed to be on the counter. But I mean, this is her first time on the counter, so she doesn't quite know what to do. So she's kind of freaking out. Look at her little bow. Isn't that cute? She got to be a little festive with us. Yes. You got to be a little festive. She's like sleepy. Like, it's already way past our bedtime. Isn't it? Say goodnight. Say goodbye. Well, that's it, you guys, for this video. Thanks for stopping by. I really enjoyed your company while I made this pumpkin. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Like, so thrilled. I cannot even right now. Like, I love it so, so much. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight for my first pumpkin carving in my new place. Uh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I hope that you like this video. So don't forget to smash that like button either. Mimi's would appreciate it too. Wouldn't you, Mimi's? Yeah, she's like out of it right now. But <laughs> thank you guys again. I hope you have a great rest of your day and have a happy Halloween. And I really, really want you guys to be safe out there. Don't make any rash decisions. Don't be stupid. Don't drink and drive. Be responsible, okay, you guys? Love you. Thanks so much for your support. And I hope to see you soon and talk to you later. Okay, bye. Like, maybe I should do something like this for a thumbnail. I'm creeping myself out. I'm freaking myself out. <laughs>